Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein, and welcome back to another video here on Life's Biggest Questions. Before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, click the bell notification, and stick around until the end of the video, where I'll be responding to some of your comments from a previous video. Today's video is going to be about mosquitoes. The little bloodsuckers that leave red, itchy bumps are the number one killer in the world when it comes to animals and spread countless disease. I know you guys are going to say they're not animals, they're insects. We're talking generalization here, guys. They normally come in sizes ranging from 6 to 12 millimeters which as we know is very small. But what if they grew 10 times the regular size? The biggest ones would be about 4.7 inches or 3 quarters the size of your smartphone depending which one you got. Either way, these things would be quite large and we need to explore how it would potentially make them more dangerous and how it would affect our world as we know it. Now there are many different types and species of mosquitoes, but for this video, we'll be focusing on the average Canadian or American mosquito. And with that in mind, we'll mostly focus on how it would affect our world in regards to those countries specifically. Mosquitoes are known for carrying disease and have been responsible for the spread of the likes of Zika, West Nile, Eastern and Western equine encephalitis, among many others, such as malaria and dengue fever. However, the last two mentioned affect more the tropical areas of the world, whereas the others seem to affect Canada and the US, among other countries as well. Of course, depending on where you lived would depend on how you were affected. Now with that being said, it's safe to say if mosquitoes did grow in size, there's a possibility they wouldn't spread as much disease when it comes to humans. I don't know about you guys, but I usually don't notice a mosquito is biting me until it's too late and I feel an itch. But when I see a dragonfly, which are on average 2 inches, I notice it almost immediately. Point being, if the insect is bigger than it normally is, we'd most likely notice it before it got to us. Now we can't say the same thing about animals like horses, pigs, and cows for example. All of these farm animals, which is how we'll refer to them, could become victims of any of the diseases mosquitoes spread, more so than they already are. A lot of these animals tend to be infected but not show symptoms immediately. However, if they were to be targeted by much larger mosquitoes, it leads me to believe the diseases they carry would be more powerful. More specifically, given that they'd be 10 times their normal size, I feel the disease would be 10 times stronger in comparison. This could be a problem for areas that have disease carrying mosquitoes as it would more than likely affect livestock. Grocery stores and butchers would have to find ways to make sure their meats weren't infected and farmers who sell to local markets or sell their own meats would also be in danger of losing tons of profits, either due to people not wanting to risk eating a possibly infected piece of meat or because their animals would be dying from any of the diseases previously mentioned. This could also lead to problems with produce because to combat the mosquitoes, farmers and even huge corporations would be using even more pesticides and repellents to get rid of the mosquitoes more so than they already do, which could be harmful for humans to ingest. But going even deeper into this idea, mosquitoes may also become more aggressive and attack even larger animals or mammals because of their newfound size. Our household pets like dogs and cats may also be susceptible to falling victims to disease if mosquitoes tried to attack them as well. And of course, infants and younger children would also be at much higher risk if they were to be attacked. Assuming the virus grew stronger as the mosquitoes did, overall it seems no one would possibly benefit from this. But what about the animals that eat mosquitoes? such as birds, the occasional spider, and bats, which seem to be one of their top predators. It's unclear if they would in fact still be hunted by these animals, which may prefer going after much smaller insects. But there's also the possibility that them growing 10 times their size, which would be just over 4.5 inches, would be quite appetizing for birds. This could possibly affect the growth of birds as well, who would be getting a much larger meal than they're used to. Lizards may start preying on mosquitoes the way they go after dragonflies, but again, they might just stick to what they know. Now going on this idea that birds could grow in size due to the fact that they're eating much more than they're used to, that could affect our entire ecosystem. Animals that prey on birds could grow bigger as well, assuming that birds would grow in size as well. And that effect could go all the way down the line. To humans even. Maybe we'd have like large Hulk-like humans. I don't, I don't think so. But what if the opposite happened? What if birds didn't eat as much because a 4.5 inch mosquito is too much for them? This could lead to a mosquito overpopulation. Assuming that only mosquitoes were to grow in size, those that prey on them wouldn't need to consume as many at a time. The overpopulation of mosquitoes would also have a chain effect on the ecosystem, as we know that overpopulation of anything would. If mosquitoes overpopulated, although they're known for feeding on nectar or honeydew plants to get sugar, they would need more of it to survive given their size. And if they were to overpopulate as well, they may eventually change their eating habits to adapt. Again, this is all totally hypothetical, as we don't know for sure how their attitudes would change given this new size. If they were to stick to what they know, plants would certainly be affected, which in turn could affect any insects or animals that rely on these plants for food as well. The likes of bees, caterpillars, even squirrels could see a significant loss in their food supply, which, as previously mentioned, would have a chain effect down the line. So it's safe to say if mosquitoes grew larger, the likelihood that they would carry more powerful diseases and mess up our entire ecosystem seems quite evident. There's even the possibility that they become more aggressive and attack larger animals instead of just feeding on plants for their sugars or nectar. Only one way to find out 
Let's start doing the science. I'm kidding, guys. Let's just leave things the way they are. Us humans are doing a good enough job destroying the world. We don't need any more help. And on that note, let's reply to some comments. So from the video, what would happen if pigeons went extinct? I don't know what I'm doing said, the government would never watch us. Buddy, you got a smartphone, they're watching, they're listening. Don't get ahead of yourself. George W said, what would happen if this channel didn't exist anymore? Then we wouldn't get such awesome content. Hey George, appreciate that. We try to give you guys th the most fun content. I don't know why I'm being so cringy right now. We just try to give you guys good content, but you guys gotta let us know more suggestions in the comments down below, because we wanna give the people what they want. Raven's right hand said, to be honest, this question has never crossed my mind, but I'm glad I have you guys to answer it, LOL. That's what we do, man. We ask, or rather answer, the most absurd and ridiculous questions. I'm actually working on a video right now that it's not even possible, like it's, it's irrelevant. Just <laughs> hit that bell, guys. Subscribe to the channel so you guys can find out what video I'm talking about. I'll give you guys a hint. It includes President Donald Trump running another country. So there you go. And on that note, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Like I said, make sure you guys are subscribed and ring that bell so you guys could watch the video I am currently scripting. Hopefully, it'll go up in the next week or so. We'll see you guys soon.